Hello everyone, in this video, let us use uh, Autoblocks to create an issue, but not just uh, creating an issue with hard-coded values, but uh, we want to create an issue from uh, one Jira instance to another Jira instance. Now the ultimate goal here is to integrate two Jira instances and there could be a lot of use cases. Let us say you are working for a client and your client has uh, their own Jira instance, you have your own Jira instance, but uh, you may not have access or direct access to their uh, instance. In those cases, you can actually integrate to Jira instances. Maybe you can write your own interface that will uh, not only create the issue from one instance to another instance, but you also may want to sync the issues. Now, so far we have been uh, playing with Autoblocks. We have learned how to create a simple Hello World program in our workspace. We have also learned how to get the issue details from uh, one Jira instance using uh, the managed APIs. And at the same time, we have also learned how to create an issue. Now in this video, I want to combine the get issue and the create issue scripts into one. So we will just have one workspace where we will uh, uh, first fetch the issue from source Jira instance and then we will uh, create the same issue in uh, maybe another Jira instance. Now for this example what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll create a new workspace and right now I have uh, connections already set up to both my Jira instances so we just have to use those connections in our, uh, in our uh, workspace. So what I'll do, I'll probably uh, give this workspace uh, a nice name like get issue and create issue of course uh, i want to name this as something that we are actually doing in the workspace i prefer using names that reflect the purpose of the script or whatever uh, code that you have written now the first thing that i will do is i will add this library for jira cloud so we 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 we, we, we will basically use one library called uh, a module for connecting the connecting to one Jira instance, and of course we will have one more library, one one more block for uh, for for connecting to the target Jira instance. So the good thing about this block is that you can select your connection, which is in this case uh, I want to first re uh, read the issue or get the issue details from source Jira instance, which is in this case uh, for this example we are using this uh, issue called Jira is down. Uh, please help and I may want to create the same issue in my target uh, Jira instance which is uh, this one. Now uh, what I'll do, I'll probably create one more issue like a fresh issue so that we can test it properly. So let us say, um, let us say your website is down. So this is, let us say it could be, it could be an incident uh, if you're using Jira service management and you want to maybe escalate this issue or maybe you want to send this issue to third party. It depends on your process, but the idea here is to create the same issue somewhere else in another Jira instance in a specific project. So the issue ID here is, or the issue key is AN-214. And what I'll do, I'll go to my auto blocks and I will uh, configure my first connection, which is my source. I will name it as Jira Tutorial. And uh, I can uh, then add uh, one more block same thing but of course for my target jira instance which is uh, which is in this case uh, ravi sagar so i'll use the right name here ravi sagar so we have two two modules both will help us in uh, connecting to these jira instances and the actual code that i will write i will use a manual trigger eventually we will uh, use auto blocks to do all these things uh, automatically. So once you create an issue in one Jira instance, it will be created in another one automatically without any manual trigger. But of course, uh, I want to show you how it can be done uh, first by showing you this manual trigger. And I want to, of course, focus on the code part first. And uh, in the next video, we will uh, learn how we can automate the whole process. So what I'll do, will, uh, what I'll do is I will go back to my workspace for get issue and I'll copy the code because I don't really want to type the whole code again. Nothing, I mean, it's not really a complicated code, but uh, I just want to copy it straight away. I want to also show you that how easy, how easily you can uh, uh, 
keep a list of these uh, code snippets uh, in different workspaces and you can reuse them if you want. Maybe you can have one workspace and you can have uh, these code snippets uh, stored. Uh, it depends how you how, how you want to organize your uh, your workspaces. I prefer keeping them se keeping them separately so that I can run them if I want and I can also reuse them in uh, in, an, in another workspaces. So I'll just uh, copy it here and uh, what I want to do is I want to use the workspace which is Jira Tutorial and it says here Jira Tutorial that, so there is something wrong. So the, the, that is the good thing about uh, Code Editor. It can find a Jira Tutorial and uh, I will go back to my um, Okay, so there is a mistake. So tutorial. So I need to use uh, the right name, and I think it should be fine. So the connection name is now correct. And what I will do is I will use the. Uh, so this is my source Jira. So I'll just use source. I think it is better to use uh, the variable names that are easy to uh, read, and of course uh, you can easily figure out what this variable is all about. Source Jira and uh, we have the source issue that we will get in the response i guess um, maybe maybe you can uh, create a separate variable but let us keep things simple so source jira dot issue dot get issue and uh, in the response i will use uh, source issue maybe we can use maybe we can just so rename it as the source issue response because we are getting a response back not really the actual issue so this is fine and uh, what we will do is uh, we will use fields dot uh, summary because we want to um, because we want to uh, use the summary and the same summary that we have in the source tier instance. So let me just take a look at this. Uh, so there is, a, there, there is a problem. So it says source issue. Okay, so not source Jira, Jira response, source issue response and dot fields dot summary and if you notice there is a problem here because uh, this core code editor is telling us that there is something wrong object is possibly undefined and the good thing is that you also have this error message that you can uh, that you can uh, use uh, to search online and i know that you can actually fix it by using this uh, question mark uh, here, so the, it, it is a bit similar to what you do in Groovy uh, when you have those uh, null values and you want to ensure that uh, you don't get null pointer exception. So it, it is a bit similar. I mean, you can search uh, about it online, and uh, this is actually a good thing about uh, this code editor. You can actually uh, it will tell you what exactly is wrong with the number with the error number, which you can search and uh, with the num with the help of the number you can actually find things easily. So this part is fine. I I also want to now create the issue. We should be able to now get the issue details and uh, uh, we should be able to now reuse the code for the issue creation. And I will go to the create issue workspace. I will copy this uh, uh, whole code or maybe I'll just copy this part here. We will create a connection again, but uh, let me just copy the code that is uh, trying to create an issue. So let us go to the workspace and uh, click on the code. So once we once we have the issue details from the source Jira instance, we want to create it with this with the right summary. But first, I will uh, use the connection. Uh, the very I'll, I'll declare one one variable for the connection. So this is my target Jira from and uh, dot connections slash Ravi Sagar that is the name of my connection and uh, in this uh, response I think I'll probably use uh, target Jira response because it is a response and uh, we want to work on the target Jira not source Jira so I will just rename it as <coughs> target Jira dot issue dot create issue so this is all good and we have the summary here by the way which is of course hard coded but we want to uh, we want to copy the summary from the issue from source Jira instance and uh, when you create an issue you may want to of course use the right uh, I mean you have to use the right issue uh, right variable name so I can use target Jira response dot key 
So this looks all good, but uh, one thing which is missing is the summary. Uh, of course, the issue ID and the project ID is hard coded, but uh, you can also retrieve these values uh, using REST API. For the time being, what I will do, I will use maybe um, maybe the same uh, source issue response. I'll just copy it as it is. And uh, let us see if uh, we are able to do this. So we can uh, copy it here and I can see here immediately that there is a problem. Now this problem, I actually searched for this problem and because I don't know TypeScript uh, and uh, the good thing is that code editor is actually helping me. So when I search for this error, I I was able to figure out that I need to use this exclamation mark here because I need, I need to tell this uh, piece of code here that uh, uh, you can trust us, this summary will never be empty. Uh, but of course, uh, if you are if you are proficient, pr proficient in uh, TypeScript, I'm sure you can figure out. So this is all good. And uh, what I will do now is I will I will run it. I think I think we are done. I think it looks good. So we should have a message first. We should have this message in the console that we have uh, source issue with this ID or key. So let let us say you have source issue which is an two one four. Uh, you want to create the same issue somewhere else, so uh, we will get this the summary copied in. I mean, we, we we should be able to fetch the summary here and use it. So let us run it now. I think we are done. So if I if I want to run it, I can of course click on the manual uh, trigger. And uh, if you look here, we have the message here: source issue website is down and uh, new issue is, new issue is created. CMP-15. So if I go back to my, um, so I'll just uh, modify the code slightly because I don't like the, so I want to have like a bit of a space here. So this is fine, source issue. And if I go back to my, uh, to my Jira instance, my target Jira instance, I want to see here that, uh, uh, do we have this new issue? Of course, I should be there because uh, I can see the issue key, CMP-15. So I'm sure this issue is somewhere. So, but, but of course I'll verify. I will show you how it looks like. So let us uh, find this issue. So we have this issue called uh, website is down and 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 that is it. So this is of course a simple example. Uh, what I have done in, in this uh, video is I have combined the scripts that we wrote earlier and this is what we will do. We will continue um, con continue building things uh, on top of what we did earlier. And uh, this is of course a simple example where we have done uh, a bit of hard coding, but uh, the good thing is that we are actually pulling the information from uh, from one Jira instance and we are doing something in another Jira instance. In the next video, we will try to automate the process. So I will show you how you can uh, create this uh, workspace and leave it. And uh, whenever you create an issue in one Jira instance, you, you can expect the same issue to be, to be recreate it somewhere else in your uh, target Jira instance. And uh, and that is that is all I wanted to talk about in this video and show you, of course. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.